Hello, this is Mike, NoStressMike.com. Uh, I want to talk about um, women's rights. Okay. Um, and the thing is, first let's, let's, let's make this so you all understand where I'm coming from on this. I do not believe in equal rights for women. Um, I believe a woman should be a woman and a man should be a man. I, I really enjoy being a man. I enjoy being treated like a man. I really enjoy women. And I do enjoy treating a woman like a lady. Now, now we got where I stand. Now, uh, now this is why you see me traveling outside the United States so much. The, uh, I get really confused what's going on here in the United States. Now, these women are getting their equal rights, and now they're getting hit on that uh, that Harvey Wallbanger guy out in California. And uh, okay, now they don't understand if you're going to be equal to a man, you need to be ready to deal with complications. And what they want to do is whine. I'm not talking about the Harvey Wallbanger women. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about women in general that think that um, uh, equal rights is a big thing. Now, like I say, it's, it's, I think it's too late here in the United States. Our government's so screwed up. You know, I mean, they, they want to, um, instead of, our, our culture has destroyed the marriage process. When you're married, the man takes care of the woman and the woman takes care of the man on a good, loving relationship. We're not getting a lot of that. That's, that's why we're getting over a 50% divorce rate. And uh, when everybody is comfortable with that divorce rate, that's why they get divorced. If there is no advantage in being divorced, then they wouldn't be divorced. But they, you notice it keeps going, it keeps getting worse. Because the government is uh, moving things around so they can take care of these uh, single parents. You know, so, uh, you know... But the, the thing I'm trying to get across is I wish we, as Americans, true Americans, would take that personal responsibility. Uh, and when, I'm, when I say that, I'm talking about the men and the women. And I know I'm talking old-fashioned. People say, you're too old-fashioned. I understand all that. But uh, the thing is, there's a reason why. A man takes care of a, a woman, and a woman takes care of a man. And like I say, I'm like I say, I'm single now. I lost, lost my wife over five years ago, and life has been nasty. And uh, I, I can't imagine. And I'll tell you, I just had a, a death in the family, and now there's a, a woman with uh, two children, and uh, she's going to have it rough. And um, you know, and what is she going to do? The, the system is set up to, oh, well, we'll take care of you, we'll take care of you. Uh, in reality, outside the United States, these women are looking for another man when they lose a man from death. And uh, so, uh, but I'm not saying these other, these other places are good. I'm not saying that because they're man, their men are bad. I mean, one thing worldwide, men are not acting like men. That's why I've got videos on manning up. <laughs> That's why. Uh, I don't know about women. I've never been a woman. Never been there. But I know about a man and I know how to be a man without being macho. And so, uh, but there are times you need to be macho. But, but like I say, um, what, and that now with this, the, Har, the Har, Har, Harvey Wallbanger people, now for me, trying to date an American woman, forget it. You know, there's no way. You know, I mean, all, that's all I need is for him to say, well, he pushed himself on me. You know, I hey, I don't know. I thought that's what hitting up on a girl was, is pushing yourself on them. And I always thought the girl's supposed to reject you when they don't like it. So I don't understand that they're making it a crime for a man to hit up on a gal. Now, oh, Harvey Wallbanger, I don't know, I think he kind of, he's not manly. He's not, you know, because he, he's not respectful to the women. That's, that's the difference. But uh, uh, it's really 
difficult to be a man and try to uh, work out some kind of relationship uh, with a woman, uh, you know, if if she's not going to be open, <laughs> I guess. Uh, uh, so, it, so if you're a woman listening to this, I would suggest you carry a gun, learn how to defend yourself, and don't put up with Harvey Wallbangers. No. You, you know, these guys are very low class. They are not a man. They are a male. So, you know, uh, realize there are people like that. Don't whine and bellyache uh, because that'll drop you into a whole other class of a person. Instead of that, make yourself strong. Uh, now, I don't know, maybe other men might be different than me, but I, I like a strong woman. Uh, uh, they will be, um, what do you, um, uh, how do you call it? You know, um, oh, I forgot the word. But anyway, I mean, my woman, to me, is, I'm not sure how to say it, but I'm going to say it this way. There, she's obedient. And the reason is, is me, to that woman, I'm obedient. We take care of each other. Submissive, that's the word I was thinking of. We would be submissive to each other. So, uh, and so I'm saying, I'm not used to this American way. What you call a strong woman not being submissive. That's the way you guys say it. I don't see it that way. Uh, the uh, I'm submissive, and she's going to be submissive to the right people at the right time. And that's how you make a relationship. And even though you... You know, even towards men, other men, stuff like that, I'm submissive a lot. And that's why a lot of people don't realize the kind of stuff that I do. I went to the family uh, class reunion, and they said, you know, they couldn't believe it because I was so quiet and, and submissive in school. And I'm the same way now. But I am morally strong. And I have my obligations. I'm obligated morally to stand at certain times. That's really what uh, a woman should be doing. And But like I say, to me, that's what makes uh, the great American. It's a strong individual. And these strong individuals come together. What I say? That's, those strong individuals can be a man and wife. And together, they make a relationship. When they're submissive to each other, they're strong with each other, they, they can get a lot of things done. So, and yes, being single is a bitch. It's, it's hell. I'll tell you that. It's really bad. It's hard to know who you can trust and what if you're playing mind games with you or, or, you know, you don't know any of this kind of stuff. It's tough. That's why you hang on to your spouse. That's why you take care of your spouse. And um, now, it, if you're a woman, you need to understand this stuff. That there's men, you are rejecting men like me. And I'm, I'm sure you probably don't even like a guy like me. Because like I say, I'm not a, uh, an equal rights kind of guy. So you probably don't like me anyway. And but that's why I don't even, I don't, I don't try to get around all these American gals because of that. I don't know where they stand. I don't know what they want. Uh, this it's just it's just too too strange for me. But uh, I will stand with man or woman as an American. Strong individuals coming together. This is Mike. No stress, Mike. Dot com.